What is up my peeps and my subscribers and my awesome peoples and that watch these videos in the bam chicka bam I'm just kidding. What's up guys? I'm in a really good mood today or I'm just hyper off some root beer. I've been drinking root beer Wait, let me wait. Whatever <laughs> um, <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so stupid What's up guys? This is Nightmare Reaps bringing you some Ghost Recon Future Soldier gameplay commentary. We're playing some conflict on the map uh, Market I believe yeah, uh, I haven't played online in a while so I was like I want to upload some Ghost Recon and uh, It's a pretty decent game. I split this game into two parts because you know for those of you who haven't played Ghost Recon uh, the online games are pretty long and oh my god, this is so embarrassing right here, bro. I was shooting at these guys. Not one single hit marker, and this sniper gets like a triple feed on us. Watch, watch this kill cam. Watch, he kills all three of us that were up there like nothing. Look, watch. Bam, 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 bam. We all died. We all died. He got all of us, you motherfucker. Um, I'm not that good at this game. <laughs> I, I think I am, but I'm not. Oh, I actually got a kill. I'm a beast. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm, I'm, I'm decent at it. You know, the thing about Ghost Recon is that with all other games, you can't really... You can do good on your own, but if only one person's doing good, doesn't mean you're going to win, you know. Uh, now all, Nowadays, all the FPSs, they're all team-based, and you need to have somebody with you. And none of my pl friends play this. Acid has the game, but he doesn't really play it. But, yeah, it's... <laughs> But, um, another topic, uh, I was thinking about talking about the commentary, about talking about the comment, what the fuck is wrong with me? Talking about the gameplay on the screen. Okay, there we go. I thought about talking the gameplay, but I mess up a lot and I make myself look like an idiot, so I'm just gonna let it roll and let you guys make fun of me on your own. <laughs> and I was gonna talk about, uh, uh, actually something that... I don't know why, but lately, like, on the channel, we've been talking a lot about relationships and a lot about girls, a lot about just certain things that happen in relationships. And on this, this video, I wanted to bring it up on the Hustle Show, but I wanted to give my little preview of it, I guess. Um, oh, sniper. Revenge. Revenge. Get on. Uh, <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about abusive relationships. All right. And not just physically, but emotionally. And I'll go with, I'll start with emotionally first. Abusive relationships can mean a lot of things, right? It can mean someone that tells their spouse or their girlfriend or their boyfriend, you know, or even with friends even, but I'm, I'm going to focus more on actually girlfriend and boyfriend because I'm not married and I'm, you know, yeah. But, uh, let's emotionally, emotionally abusive relationships would be something where they insult the other person, where they bel belittle them, where you know, in the mornings, oh, you're fucking ugly, you know, like, I hate you so much. Like, they don't hit them necessarily, but they, uh, insult them, like, constantly. Like, tell him, tell him or her, because I'm not saying only guys or girls do this. I'm, they both go both ways, you know. Um, they, they insult each other. And I asked my girlfriend the other day, I was like, why do you think girls stay with, you know, their, their guy or their girl that keeps abusing him and she told me because they love him and I I can understand that like I can love someone so much that it would hurt but at the same time I don't want to be with someone if they just because I have to you know what I mean I don't want to be with someone just because they give me a place to live or something to eat or you know I want to be with someone because I enjoy spending their time with them you know, I don't want to be with someone that makes me feel bad about myself. On the other hand, I would love someone that tells me, Oh, babe, you look really good today. You know, oh, you smell really good. Or, are oh, you really good at doing such and such. Or, you're good at playing video games. Or, you know, all the positive things. Like, I can take constructive criticism, but I can't take people hating. Like, not hating, but like. Oh, oh, look at this kill. Look at this kill. This is awesome. I was like, oh, he got shocked. I'm going to shoot him in the head for no reason. And yes, I missed the first shot. So what? Sue me? I missed the first shot. Okay, whatever. Now, going back to this depressing topic. I got to get back in the voice. So, abusive relationships, you know, the emotional part I already said, you know, getting 
offended, getting misled, getting belittled. Why did I run into the wall like a dumbass in the game? Not in real life. It's pretty much just saying things with your with your mouth. Well, obviously with your mouth. What else are you gonna say it with? Or writing it down. And then obviously you know the physical side of it. It's like slapping, hitting, pushing. And that's what I don't really get. And I had a friend. I didn't really have a friend. She was more of a consultant. And uh, she was going through a really bad relationship. And I always told her, why don't you move? You know, why don't you move out? But she was like, I can't. Don't have any family. She didn't have anywhere else to go. She didn't have any money. So she was pretty much stuck with that guy. And it sucks. Because when guys know that, when guys figure out that you don't have a choice that's when they start to be like oh I'm, i can do whatever the fuck i want to this girl and she can't do shit it's not like she's gonna leave you know and some guys will even say that to their face but i don't know i i, I like to think that i'm a good boyfriend i like to think that you know I, I i'm all right you know today's today's actually our anniversary and i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna take her out somewhere or if we're gonna come home and watch a movie or what but you know, just something. Oh, oh, and this kill is so embarrassing. I think he kills me because I don't know what to do. And he's shooting at me. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, somebody else killed him. Trust me, I am not as bad as I look. See, I got a kill. See, see how long distance kill? I got one. Leave me alone. Back off. So, yeah, don't hit your. Oh, my God, don't watch this kill. Do not watch this. No, I get owned by a sniper rifle. And then I start crawling around because I'm like, ugh, 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 ugh. <laughs> yeah. So don't go and hit your boyfriend or girlfriend. Don't hit them. Be nice to them, and they will be nice to you. Well, that's how it's supposed to be. And I hope you guys have a nice day. And sorry for rambling and being stupid. That Marie's out.